Edwards, a Mars scientist for NASA, playing a prominent role in Mars exploration rover mission. He joins me now live from Washington, D.C. Good to see you, uh, sir, and glad to have you here with us again on Good. TRT World. What's up with this South Pole <laughs> of the Moon? Why does every country want to get there before the other? So, you know, they have some permanently shaded craters which have ice. So the thinking is if you ever went back to the moon and this time to settle, set up a base, you would need water in some form. And so could this ice be melted and um, used for human use as um, uh, water and oxygen and also so to manufacture rocket fuel for the return journey? So that is why everybody is gravitating toward the South Pole now. And how likely is it for these missions to be successful? Well, I think that Russia has a track record. I mean, they have, they're, they're very superior track record. And, you know, this mission, so most missions want to land and do an exploration of 14 days. They're trying to survive the lunar night, which is a very big deal on, on the moon. The lunar night is minus 130 degrees centigrade and the battery gets very cold. And it's 27 days, um, sorry, 14 days long. So they're going. So, so I think they will be successful. There will be a lot of private missions, um, including from the U.S. in the later part of this year and next year. Um, I think some of these will be successful. Okay, uh, let, let, let me ask you, since I'm someone who has no idea about uh, the moon or how the universe works, so I'm sure this is something that many others are also wondering. How is it going to help me or the general public of, let's say, XYZ country? How does it benefit them? So, you know, if you look at uh, when the when Columbus was trying to raise money to explore America, um, people would say, well, what would you do by going to America? Um, but, you know, you went to America and you discovered a continent. Similarly, if you look at 1900s, uh, South Pole was a frontier for explorers, but now people live there 365 days. So all you need for the moon is it's just, see, from Turkey going to, I don't know, Hawaii is probably 36 hours. Um, the moon is just 72 hours away. If you have some sort of a base there where humans can survive uh, and it becomes a spot for lunar tourism, or there was a mineral there which uh, benefited life on Earth, it would change everything. It would make open a frontier. And the second thing is I'm, space as a frontier is very motivating to youngsters, and that helps them to go to engineering and science, all these disciplines. So you can say that's an indirect option. All right, and before I let you go, uh, sir, let me ask you, now we do see countries like Russia, India, and some others engage in some sort of a competition, who is going to land first in the South Pole of the moon? What's up with this uh, competition? There is no competition. The competition is largely made by the media. See, these things are planned 10 years, five years, and, you know, it is just a coincidence they're landing on the same day. The planners of each of these missions started their work. Maybe this is actually the Soviet is probably 2011, maybe 12 years ago. They were not shooting to compete with any country. I don't think so. All right. Uh, Mr. Amitabh Ghosh, it's always a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.